Here we are then, so we're live with Season 1, Episode 1, Finding Your Freedom Lifestyle Vehicle. And look, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Callum Luke Webber. I'm the Freedom Lifestyle CEO. I'm the Freedom Lifestyle Podcast host. I've gone on to invest over £50,000 in mentors and coaches. I've been doing sales for the last seven years and been living my freedom lifestyle. And my intention of these trainings over, I'm going to be... Um, mark my words, I'm going to be consistently posting free trainings every single week for you. So make sure you subscribe. My intention of these trainings is to help solopreneurs and sales reps become lethal at sales, become their most energized self, eliminate overwhelm. And so you can all go and live your freedom lifestyle. And look, I've gone on a crazy journey and I wanted to share that with you before you, you know, you buy into me to want to, you know, learn from me, learn from my experiences. So I thought I'd actually share with you my story first. And over the next two episodes, I'm going to be sharing with you how to find your freedom lifestyle vehicle, because I know it can be overwhelming going on social media, going on TikTok, going on Instagram, seeing all these opportunities everywhere, seeing all these get rich quick schemes. It can be so overwhelming. So I'm going to be taking you through some exercises, which are going to help you nail down on the one that you want to go all in with. But before that, I thought I'd share with you my story just so you can get to know me more. And don't worry, throughout the story... I'm going to be sharing with you all my wins, all my setbacks, all my failures. I'm going to be embedding value throughout it. So make sure and make sure for every training, you've got a notebook ready. You're in a distraction free zone. You're in airplane mode or do not disturb. No notifications. And you've got your notebook there ready to take some notes because I am going to be over delivering for you. Like I, my one to one mentor has built a twenty five million dollar company. I'm working with Liam James Collins and Lewis Raymond Taylor on a one-to-one -one basis that's built that type of company. I'm going to be sharing all this knowledge for free on my YouTube because I just want to give. I want to give to you because my, 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 my ultimate goal is to build impact and to build a freedom lifestyle movement. So I'm going to take you guys back to school because I feel like it's important for me to actually be quite vulnerable for you with you. So, you know, throughout school, I really lacked confidence. Like that was me growing up at school. You know, throughout school, I had really long hair. You might have seen, you know, the Justin Bieber haircut. Mine was like a B-Tech one. It was shocking. You know, I literally looked like a girl growing up throughout school. And I was really shy, nervous, anxious. The list goes on. I was literally scared to get my hair cut. I had this fear of what people would say about me. Like, it, you know, rewind back to then compared to now, it's like I'm a completely different human. My family think it's crazy, the journey that I've gone on. They're like, I can't believe, they, they were like, I can't believe you've you're, you've done what you've done <laughs> considering what you were like as a child. So it's, it's mental how how you can change your life. You can change your identity over, over your life. And the pivotal moment for me, it actually sounds daft, but when I had a haircut, <laughs> I can remember finally taking the plunge to get my haircut. It was a big day. I was nervous what people would say, but I started getting compliments more and more and more. And I can remember finally feeling a little bit confident for the first time in my life. And then I turned 18 and I just, right, I just started partying. I was playing for an adult football club. So I was hanging around with a lot of lads that were older than me. So I was out every Friday and Saturday night without fail. Because I was an October, I'm an October baby. So I was one of the first 18s out of my group. So I was out every single weekend, both nights without fail. And I started to feel more confident, but the use of alcohol made me feel even more confident. And looking back now, the reason I was partying so much was actually just because it made me feel more confident. And I can remember it was a big decision I had to make that you guys all probably had to make watching this. When you leave school, what do you do? What do you do? You know, throughout school, your programs, go to school, get your GCSEs, get your A-levels, then go to university, get a good job, save up for a pension, get a mortgage and live happily ever after when you retire. But, you know, what if you don't make retirement? What if you don't make retirement? And, you know, rewinding back to school, I had a big decision to make. Do I go to university or do I go down the route of getting a nine to five life? And I was looking into apprenticeships to work at a bank. And I made a decision because I heard a talk and it was like, the good thing about uni is it gives you time. So I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I made a decision to go to university. So I had more time. I didn't want to get trapped into a job at such a young age. I wanted to be a bit more, I wanted to be a lot more free and I wanted to go and have some fun at university. So off I went to Plymouth University to study business management. The independence felt amazing. Like my whole life, I was smothered by my nan. And it was actually Freshers' Week. Freshers' Week, I got there, lots of drinking, lots of drugs. It was a whole new life for me. It felt amazing. Like looking back now, my routine was horrendous. But at the time, like I really needed it at the time. And this is a video that I clipped in just to show you. I'm showing you my whole journey. Like this was a pivotal moment for me. ITV emailed me about coming on to IB for Weekender. And I want to share this clip of me walking in. It's actually quite funny to see it, but I thought I'd, I'd share it with you guys. So, yeah, hopefully you can hear that. Oh, look at me. <laughs> 
it's so mad like looking back on that like when I was 18 and it was a pivot you know it was a crazy moment like I'd gone up throughout my whole school being not very confident and so now being on ITV on TV drinking like you know quite a risky move to do and I got an email saying Callum pack your bags you're off to Ibiza I can vividly remember I received this news whilst I was pre-drinking at Radnor Halls at Freshers so one week after being at uni I got home I got a coach home and I got a flight to Ibiza at 4 a.m and I was on such a come down from freshers that now next minute I'm in Ibiza having to drink. And they got us on a on a beach doing these like cringy scenes first thing in the morning. I was just hanging, like, oh, I need I need sleep. But the funny thing was, ITV interviewed all of us. And they asked us this question: Would you ever be an events rep abroad in MAGA, Ibiza, or Santi? And my two best mates said yes. And I actually said no. But fast forward, I ended up doing it and it completely changed my life. And whilst I was at uni, you know, I was back from Ibiza, freshers were still going on. I mean, freshers just didn't stop. For any of you that's been to uni, you can probably resonate with that. Let me know in the comments, like, what university you, you guys been to? What is your freshers like? It was night out after night out after night out. And, you know, it was time for my first lecture. It was time to learn, right? But I got there, and the reality of it was, I was it was a, an old man, an employee that doesn't even run a business, has never run a business before, and he's just been to university. And now he's just returned, re I can't even say the word, Reju uh, I can't say it. You know what I mean, right? <laughs> and it was just a room full of that, uh, room full of disengaged students. That's that's all it was. I can remember being sat there just so bored. Like, what am I even doing here? So one year down, fast forward one year, didn't know one thing. I was drinking about four to five nights a week, all, all week. The nights that I wasn't drinking, I was going to the casinos. <laughs> Like I can remember going to the casinos, being grateful that I wasn't drinking. Like it, it was bad. It was bad. I was eating awful food, shit food. My sleeping pattern was ruined. I only saw darkness. I can vividly remember I woke up to go to university. And I was like, I'm going to go to university. I'm going to go to a lecture. And I got showered. I got ready. And it was three o'clock. And I was walking to uni, uh, to uni lecture. I thought it was three o'clock in the afternoon. And this lad that was in my halls, that was in my apartment, was walking in from a night out. He's like, where are you going? I was like, I'm off to uni. He's like, it's three o'clock in the morning. I was like, oh, that was my realisation that my sleeping pattern was horrendous. I was just so used to just seeing darkness, the whole of university, that I genuinely thought it was three o'clock in the afternoon. My life changing decision. Obviously, I told you when I was on IB for Weekender that they asked me if I was ever going to be an events rep. And I said no. And while I was at uni, I saw opportunities online. I thought, screw it, I'm going to do it. So I worked, I booked up for this work as a company, had a one way flight to Mallorca. One week before I was meant to go, the company let me down. But look, in business, in, in sales, you got to commit first, figure the rest out later. There was not a chance I was not going out to, there was not a chance I was not going out to MAGA. My flights were booked and I was set on going. So I tried to sort out as much, it was hard to get accommodation, but I made it work. I managed to sort out two weeks accommodation and I ended up being there for three months. I've never been to Magaluf before. I brought my best mate with me, Max. And, you know, we didn't know where to work. And we actually got approached by two lads selling uh, Zoo Project tickets. And I was like, right, this opportunity sounds amazing. I've never done sales before, but let's have it. My first day, never sold before. I was nervous. I had low confidence growing up throughout school. I used to be scared to talk to people in front of people, but I thought, let's fucking have it. Let's do it. I'm here for a reason, right? My first day was a shambles. I made I made nothing. And it could be so easy to give up. And when you're in business, you're going you're gonna to have setbacks. You're going to have failures. But don't give up because, look, you probably heard this before. Rome wasn't built in a day. And it's so true. The second day I got back up there, 50 euros I made. And I was absolutely buzzing. Three months and then fast forward, three months of partying, making decent money, getting better at sales, more confident. My ticket selling partner at the time did most of the talking. And that's because I wasn't as confident. That was just a bit of a map out of my first season for you. My two weeks accommodation, it turned into three months. It was the maddest summer of my life. And I literally flew straight home back to Creamfields for a festival one day later. And for any of you that know about Creamfields and other festivals, it's a loose festival. And as you can imagine, like three months in Mallorca to Creamfields, like I had the biggest come down of my life. And obviously I couldn't then rest afterwards because I was straight back to second year of university. It was time for freshers. The freshers flew, second year of uni. This time round, I was fucked. <laughs> One year of uni, three months, MAGA, Creamfields, back to uni. All my friends were buzzing to get back to uni, but I was just ready for some sun and good sleep because I got addicted to, to traveling when I was living abroad, living that lifestyle. And obviously I'd done so much drinking and late nights, so I needed some sleep. However, I don't know if you resonate with this, but I had something called FOMO, fear of missing out syndrome. I just couldn't let other people go out and not, I had to be there. I had to be there. So I forced myself to do it. 
And it got to the point where my health got really bad and I actually had really bad dry eye from my awful lifestyle. I can remember it getting to a point where I couldn't even really watch the TV because of my eyes. And I was like, I was getting really worried. And it was from the compound, the negative compound effect of all these late nights, all this alcohol, all this shit food. You know, it was it was just stacking on top of each other. Fast forward, second year uni, less brain cells, <laughs> learnt nothing, drinking drugs, eating shit, no sleep. And I was just dreaming of being back traveling the world. And then boom, three days after my second exam finish, I was back in the sun. This time with a knowing of how much money I could actually make. And I met these five Welsh lads at the airport and I ended up getting them on events. And I ended up going on a three-day bender with them. And then I got back to I got back to selling, I got back to being an events rep. And this is a big takeaway to take away now. It's so easy to get rusty in selling. And that's why it's so key to get involved with like, you know, a, a community like Freedom Lifestyle that we, we run role play sessions every single week. Feel free in the description. There's a there's a link full transparency. It will take you to a, a video of myself with full transparency to get you on a call to join the Freedom Lifestyle movement and community. But look, no stress at all. I'm going to be delivering loads of free value. But if you are interested, the link is down below. And we do sales role play with each other on a weekly basis. But look, like the biggest takeaway here is how important role play is. You can even role play on yourself if you really want to, but you're better off role playing like than not doing it at all. Because otherwise you're just practicing on actual clients and you're going to be losing out on money. And I found myself really rusty because I haven't done sales for a year. I haven't learned sales. Going back now, if I was at uni, I would have went all in with learning sales whilst I was at uni, but instead I was just drinking and playing FIFA. <laughs> Fast forward to my second season. I saved two grand while, you know, living the dream in the sun. Imagine partying all summer, flying around the moped, seeing the biggest DJs in the world. And I was getting better at selling and I was still coming home with money and I was just living life. And then I was off into my big year, the final year. Like, surely I was going to learn business in my final year, right? I was wrong. Three years of business degree. I literally didn't learn one thing. 50 grand worth of debt to not learn one thing. And, you know, for those of you who's been to university, I don't know if you, if, if you, let me know in the comments if you agree or you don't disagree. I want to find out about your university experience, especially those that went to, you know, did business as a degree. And as a dissertation, it was meant to be like done over six months. I literally started it a week before deadline. I knew people that started it like a day before deadline. And that's another lesson is in your business. Make your deadlines really short because deadlines create urgency. Let me rewind you back to when you were at school and you had homework. Were you that type of person that did your homework like straight away or did you do it the night before? Or were you that person that did it on the day or were you that person that just didn't do it at all? I bet you were that person that did it the night before or on the day, right? And it's because of that deadline creates urgency. So you can utilize that in your business straight away. So fast forward three years. Yes, I got 50K debt, but woo, I got my I got my degree. I got to throw my hat. I got a 2-1 in my business degree. And society de deem this as a huge achievement. And that's my nan there. Absolutely love my nan. So grateful for her, for everything she's done for me. It was amazing having that experience down at you know Plymouth Hoe. It was still a really nice day. But the reality of it was 50K down the drain, three years of wasted time. I've got people in the Freedom Lifestyle community that are 19 years old that are running their business full time. I was starting university at 19 years old and they're already running their business full time online. They haven't got a job. It's mental. Three years of drinking, drugs, not good sleep, not good routines and less brain cells than I started before university. So then I had the big decision to make. Do I go back to MAGA or do I go get a graduate job? And well, you guys can probably imagine now I decided to go and go back to MAGA. After experience like not being in the matrix at 19 years old, there was no chance of me getting a grad job. So straight back to MAGA on a mission. Fast forward, six months living in Mallorca, I saved loads of money, I become a confident seller, I had three holidays during the season, I went to Benidorm, Amsterdam, um, I went to Madrid to go watch um, Atletico Madrid play, it was just incredible, uh, the Vivienda El Bueno Club, if you know, you know, 2019, I finally didn't have the trap of going back to university, was it going back to was 2019? I is like no my winter normally going to university. Now I didn't have that university trap and I wasn't going to get a grad job. So I went to the slopes. I went to a, a festival called Rise. Strongly recommend it. Incredible festival. Then I had Christmas a few days later. And then a few days after that, I was off to India to go live in Goa for a month on a beach with the boys. And then I, I went to Thailand for a month. It was absolutely crazy. I was living the dream until it all changed. 23rd of March, 2020, our lives changed. I got back end of end of February. I was actually meant to go back to Mallorca for a fourth summer and then lockdown hit. I'll be completely transparent with you guys. I I, I lost my head. I, I was depressed. I was lost. I had no money. 
I had no job. I couldn't go back for a season. I was back living at my nan's house. You know, I've gone from a full moon party to packing boxes at Amazon. You can see there with my mask, met some amazing people at Amazon. Love you all. And I literally felt like a robot, as you can see here. I had no life. I was packing boxes six days a week from 7 a.m. in the morning to six o'clock at night. I only saw darkness. However, looking back now, I'm so grateful for that opportunity. It was a humbling experience for me. And whilst I was working, I was just smash, smashing podcasts. I was listening to content like this. I was listening to Grant Cardone. I was listening to Tony Rob Robbins. I was utilizing my time. Like, you know, after this training, like listen to the Freedom Lifestyle podcast. When you're driving, when you're walking, rather than just always listening to music because you're wasting time, you can start listening to educational because you're a product of your environment. Generally, there's been people that I've been listening to on a podcast. Like uh, I listened to a guy called Fraser Brooks, network marketing coach. Now I play golf with him in Dubai. I was speaking to, um, I was listening to Liam James Collins uh, on, a, on a podcast. I've now interviewed him on my podcast. He's built a $25 million company and he was my one-to-one -one mentor for six months. Uh, and now I'm actually working, going to be working one-to-one -one with Lewis Raymond Taylor, uh, who's got a Netflix documentary out. Like it's crazy how it can all just stem from listening to something. So you watching this right here, right now, congratulations for investing your time to be here. And look, I'm only sharing my story now and I guarantee you, you've gained so much value. So imagine when I'm not sharing my story and I'm just going all in on sales and mindset content, it's going to absolutely blow your mind. It's going to completely change your life. Whilst I was at Amazon, I had no life. I was working six days a week in the end uh, because I was working the weekends anyway. My days off, I was like, I'm bored on the, on the weekdays. There was nothing to do. And I actually saved up four grand in eight weeks, but I had no life. So what I did, Bali, here we come. I booked a one-way flight to Bali, September 2020. I quit Amazon. I was there for eight weeks. It was the best day of my life leaving that. Driving home, listening to some 80s bangers. If any of you know, you know when you quit that job that you absolutely hate and that drive home is just incredible. It's like a feeling of euphoria. It was amazing. But guess what? My flight to Bali got cancelled. You guys get somebody excited. I thought, about what is going on with my life? I am stuck in the UK. But this changed my life. This is just this is actually a contract of where I ended up committing to my biggest, my, well, not biggest investment now, to the biggest investment at the time that I've ever made. It was £3,000. It was a Grant Cardone business course. And, you know, as you can imagine, I did lose my head because I couldn't go to Bali. But look, I didn't want to I didn't want to be negative again. So I turned it into a positive. So that's why I invested. I did a three days boot camp at Grant Cardone, which led me to invest in £3,000 into a business and sales accelerator course. Yeah, this completely, this completely changed my life, changed my thinking. I started thinking way bigger. You know, I got addicted to partying, to addicted to business education. And I actually just want to share this because honestly, I love seeing stuff like this. Like when I when I started my journey, this was quite a few, this was during 2021 or whatever, 2020, 2021. Um, I was this was actually one of my stories on Instagram and Facebook of me posting content of watching this. So this is Grant Cardone's vice president, Jared Glant. Today about where you're going, not where you're at, where you're going. Hopefully you can because hear if this. You can't get people excited about where you're going. It's because you don't know where you're going. You don't know where you're going. Where are you going? You got to know where you want to go. <laughs> I don't want to put this thing in reverse and drive all the way back to that call I did a while ago on goals and the future and where you're going. But dude, that is the key for every. Now that's the type of stuff I was listening to. I hope you could watch that. Obviously, it's only a short clip. You know, whilst my friends were drinking on Zoom playing quizzes, I was like, I'm not doing that. I've been partying in Thailand. I've been partying in, in Mallorca, living a crazy life. I don't want to be at my nan's house just drinking on Zoom. So I was literally studying day and night any spare time I had. And my sales epiphany come. I was FaceTiming my best mate, Alex, who was out in Australia, door knocking, getting solar leads. And I thought to myself, right, I'm going to look into the U into, in UK if there's solar opportunities. So I searched up on Google, highest paid solar jobs in the UK, Google search. Project solar come up. There was no CV needed. It was commission only. I got the job. Next moment, I was on the road selling solar. I went from sorting out boat pies to sorting out 10 to 15 grand solar systems. I had hardly any training. I had hardly any su support. But, you know, use what I learned from Magaloo, from Grant Cardone. And I just went all in. This was me on my first ever solar appointment. If any of you watch White Gold on Netflix, unbelievable series for any of you that, that are into selling. And uh, back in the 80s, it was like, you know, double glazed window sellers. You probably heard of that. That's why there's a really bad stigma um, in the sales industry. 
But when I watched that series, I just thought it was cool, like wearing a suit, going to appointments. But to be fair, there was a, a lot of clients thought I was a, a double glazed window seller. <laughs> so yeah, that, that actually kind of backfired. But anyway, my first solar appointment, all grey suit, listening to 80s music, bopping about. And I actually shat myself again, even with all the training, even with all the years in Mallorca. It was my first day back selling something I've not sold before. It was really, it, I, I was so nervous. And in that appointment, I was all over the place. Of course, no sell. But then guess what? Second appointment, boom, I made a grand game on. So I went from not knowing solar to making a grand within like a week. I found my purpose again. You know, I started getting confident gaining sales in solar. I was enjoying life again. My second month in solar, I made 7K. I thought, wow, I'm really onto something here. But I don't know if you guys have ever heard of something called the 90 day phenomenon. It's when you start a business or it's when you start sales and you do really well at the start and then 90 days come in and then you get, you have a big flop. And that happened to me. I went from making 7K per month down to 2K. I started blaming the blaming the company. I started blaming the leads, blaming the time of year because it was December when I made 2K. And you see, hear it in the sales industry, in the business industry, that December is the worst time to actually sell. But I've proved that wrong because I actually launched the blueprint. I launched it in December. Uh, I actually launched it in December 2023 and I had my best month in the business ever. And that was in December. So that is a load of bollocks. If you think that December is going to be a bad month, it's going to be a bad month. If you think December is going to be an amazing month, it's going to be a good month. Stay tuned. I'll actually be sharing with you a technique of, oh, actually, that's actually, I'll be completely transparent. That's actually wrong. <laughs> Something had to change. Something had to change. Grant Cardone was absolutely amazing. I loved it. But look, once you get once you get addicted to personal development, you're going to be absolutely addicted. And I want to explore more, more coaches to develop my skills. So off I went to a one-day sales boot camp in Birmingham. Then it turned into a three-day sales boot camp. I then went bankrupt overnight. Three-day sales training turned into an investment of £9,000. That's all I had in my account. So I actually said no to the opportunity for the year's sales course. My, my coach at the time, Matt, said, the other side of fear, amazing things happen. I want you to write this down. The other side of fear, amazing things happen. If you're fearful about a business, that's your that's your sign telling you to do it. If you're fearful about asking for the deal, that's your sign to do it. If you're fearful about prospecting, messaging people on social media, that's your sign to do it. Because the other side of fear is amazing things happen. If you're fearful about investing in yourself, that's the reason why you should do it. I went, Matt, fuck it, I'm in. The magical 10K month. I went from being bankrupt to one month later, after taking that risk, I made my first 10K in the solar industry. It was the best investment because the best investment you can make is in yourselves. You get new skills. You get a new money mindset. You know, I started winning the morning every day. Manifestation practice. I was literally unstoppable. £10,000 months become consistent. But the selling on the road lifestyle got to me. Meal deals, long drives, shit appointments. I was wasting time. So as always, I had an epiphany. So I built my own, I created my own business called Solar for New Builds, which was underneath the company. And basically, if you've got your own leads, you've got double commission. So I thought to myself, if I just only got my leads, I'd get double the money. And it also meant that I could close the leads virtually, which meant I could be anywhere in the world. I didn't need to like drive around the country like a maniac and I could just do it all by myself. So what I did was I got into Solar for New Builds and I actually banged in my biggest deal. It was a 24 grand deal. And I did that in my nan's bed bedroom. And I got my own lead myself. I didn't even go to the home and I booked him in for an appointment and I closed the deal over Zoom. I couldn't believe it. I thought I am onto an absolute winner here. But then greed, greed, greed. One of my big less biggest lessons from being a sales rep, too many people and companies, they get greedy. The company didn't like what we were doing. They ruined the commission. I was back on the road. The, the maths just no longer worked. The commission didn't work out. So I was back on the road. But one month later, I was like, I do not want to be on the road before. So off I went back out to uh, back out to Mallorca. We're back. This time I introduced Jacob to the season of his life. And Jacob is my uh, podcast, my podcast partner, my best mate. And we've gone on an absolute crazy journey together. And me and Jacob are genuinely building some amazing special things together. So I, I, I honestly absolutely got so much love for, for, for Jacob. We were high off life. We were eating like kings, making money, sales skills getting even better. And look at that. That was actually the first Freedom Lifestyle podcast that we recorded. For episode one, the origins. It actually took us four times to film. <laughs> we kept making like, not mistakes, but like Wi-Fi things, sound quality. Um, but that was actually us doing it at a villa in Mallorca, the coast of Cannes. And we released our first episode, the 16th of September. You see there, third time lucky with the podcast. It actually took us four times. <laughs>
But check us out, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. We've got over 70 five-star reviews, 65 episodes with six, seven, and even eight-figure entrepreneurs. We interviewed someone worth 100 million, and it's the perfect... They're only about 20 to 30 minutes each episode, so they're the perfect things to listen to whilst you're walking, whilst you're driving. 65 episodes later, season one, I just mentioned there, you know, we interviewed Spencer Lodge, who's worth 100 million. We filmed podcasts with influencers in mansions. We interviewed Mike Schill there on, on the right. He's actually one of, he was one of Grant Cardone's top salesmen. We also interviewed here, Lee and James Collins here, who's built a $25 million company in four years. We literally interviewed him in London, went for a drink next door, and then we ends up becoming he ends up becoming our one-to-one -one mentor. And it's been an absolutely life-changing journey. So I thought I'm so grateful to be sharing this with you. So as you can see, I went from lacking confidence to a freedom lifestyle coach. I've invested over forty thousand pounds. It's actually over fifty thousand pounds now. This this is a bit of an older PowerPoint into sales and business coaches. I've generated ten to twenty thousand per month in commission in only set in sales roles. I've networked with millionaires on the daily. I have seven-figure clients. The list goes on. And I am helping male solopreneurs all over the world upgrade their mindset, boost sales, and achieve their freedom lifestyle. And look, you are in the right place. Look, my journey has been a roller coaster. I've learned so much, well above my years from my life experiences, from having multiple sales and business coaches. It's now, now time to share with you my secrets, which will help you become a world-class closer. Like, are you ready? If so, make sure you get subscribed because I'm going to be posting free trainings every single week. But look, I'm going to be sharing with you guys like the benefits of like, like why, you know, but the benefits of running your own business, like you might be sat there thinking like there's so, you know, it can be so overwhelming, like all the different opportunities that are out there. But look, what are the benefits of running your own online business? Number one is you're in control. By having your own business, if you're a high ticket sales role that you can be virtual, by having an online business, it gives you freedom. It gives you control. It gives you time freedom. You become the own, own boss. You don't have to book in a holiday. You don't have to ask for time off. You just take off time whenever you want. It is the best feeling ever. I can remember when I went out to, um, to Dubai for three weeks. I didn't have to ask for time off when I was selling solar panels. I just said, right, I'm, I'm off. I took my calendar availability and off I went. You have an abundance of opportunity. If you're in a salary your whole life, you're capped at a salary. You might be able to work your way up gradually. But when you're in a business, when you build your business or you build like a, a commission only role, there's abundance of opportunity because the better you get, the more skills you get, the better networks you get, the more commitment, the more time you put into it. It's just going to, you know, it's going to exponentially grow. And like I mentioned, you can take your business anywhere in the world. I'm currently filming this right here, right now, living at a spa resort with my girlfriend, Ellie, who's a guest presenter here. She's a yoga instructor here. And I'm so truly grateful. Like we've been here since New Year's Eve. You know, it's we're into February now. So we've been here and we're here till March. So we're here for two months. And I'm so blessed. I always meet people in the spa. And they're like, how are you always here? I'm like, it's because I work online. I run a podcast and I also help solopreneurs, uh, you know, become confident at sales and make money. And I'm an online, you know, online freedom lifestyle coach building a freedom lifestyle movement. And it honestly blows people's minds. And every day I'm just sat there with so much gratitude. And, you know, look, I'm, I'm 26. There's people 19 years old doing it. So if, if 19 year olds can do it, you can do it. I can do it. We can all do it. There's so much opportunity now. And the benefits of, you know, having an online business is you can have passive income. You'll be able to make money while you sleep. You probably heard that, you know, you only become wealthy when you can make money while you sleep. You probably heard Warren Buffett say that, right? So in terms of like what vehicles there are, and this is the overwhelming bit. There's so many out there. Network marketing, affiliate marketing, trading, drop shipping, Amazon FBA, social media management, video editing, photographer, a marketer, a salesman, a coach, a blogger, a vlogger. You could launch a brand, online PT. The list goes on and on and on and on. And this is the overwhelming bit. And I'm here to tell you that every single opportunity works. Every single one. You see on social media, they're like, no, this is the best opportunity to do. Like, don't listen to the other ones. But look, if you're passionate about that and go all in with it, then you're going to make it work. That's the key to the game is being passionate and energized about what the vehicle that you're actually doing. So I know it can be quite overwhelming. I'm, I'm going to be sharing with you on season one, episode two, that how to find which one actually works best for you. So make sure you subscribe to this channel to obviously so you don't miss out. And so we can help you find the vehicle. And if you're in a vehicle right now, I'm also going to ex take you down a little task just to explore if it's the right one as well. Okay. So the next episode, season one, episode two, 
the vehicle of victory, finding the right path for you. So don't worry, that is going to be the only training where I share my story. But I'm confident you gain so much value throughout that because I have just learned so much throughout looking back of my past and just being like, this is a message I want to give you. If you're if you're not in exactly where if you if you don't think you're exactly where you need to be, you are exactly where you need to be. There's a reason you're there. There's a reason why you're here right now with me. So make sure stay tapped in with me because you're destined for success. You're destined to come on this journey with me to become into our Freedom Lifestyle Network. And I'm so excited to share with you all my wisdom and knowledge that I've invested over £50,000 to learn from all my mentors and coaches and my seven years of selling and living that commission only lifestyle. I'm so excited to take you on this journey to help you become your most confident self, to help you close more deals and live your freedom lifestyle. But by the end of the next training, you're going to find out how do you actually find the right vehicle? You're also, I'm also going to give you some vehicle mindset training and a little bonus resource. So I've mentioned my podcast throughout, the Freedom Lifestyle Podcast, episode seven. Are you tired of the rat race or how to escape this year? This would be a great bonus episode to listen to, like whilst you're obviously finished. My name is Callum Luke Webber, the Freedom Lifestyle CEO. In the description, there is one link in there, one link only. Fully transparent, that link will take you to a page with a, with a video of me that the intention of that is to get you to book a call with myself or my team to explore if we can help you double your sales in the next 90 days and eliminate overwhelm guaranteed. And because it's guaranteed, I don't accept everybody. So it's definitely worth like giving it a little, you know, giving it a little click, checking it out and getting a call booked in with me because I'm so excited to be on this journey with you. And look, if, if, if you're not ready for it, that's cool. Like no, no pressure. No, it's all good. My intention of this YouTube channel is to give, 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 give. And that's the exact reason why every single week you're going to be getting three different trainings from me, sales and mindset trainings to help you live your freedom lifestyle. And I just wanted to say, I am truly grateful for you being here right here, right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your life's going to change. My life's changed. And I'm so, so buzzing to be on this journey with you because I know how having mentors listening to this type of thing, how impactful this can be. And the repetition, the consistency of this is going to change your life. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. And I cannot wait to see you on the next episode. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Hasta luego. I'll see you on the next episode. Come on. <laughs> Let's have it. <laughs>